Just minutes ago, House GOP leadership wrapped up a meeting with the, all the Republican lawmakers, members of the caucus. They outlined the party's new pledge to America. It'll be officially announced tomorrow morning, but we're lucky enough. We have an exclusive CNBC interview ahead of tomorrow's announcement. Washington Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers, who is the vice chair of the House Republican uh, Conference. Kathy, welcome back to the show. We appreciate your time. I spoke to uh, leader John Boehner early this morning, very, very briefly about this. He was kind enough to call. Let me just ask you, I'm sort of billing this tonight on the show, for better or worse, depending on one's point of view, as a big freeze on big government. Is that fair and accurate? A absolutely. This is a bold pledge to America that will result in a more prosperous America, a more accountable America, and will stop these policies that has just been growing our government. And uh, you're going to be you're going to be pleased. It has a plan for job creation, for economic growth, a plan for spending, addressing the out of control spending. It has a plan for reforming the way Congress does business. I think every person in America has been just totally uh, dissatisfied with the way Congress does business. So I, I really believe that you're going to be pleased uh, w as you see the more and more of the details of this plan and that Americans are going to be pleased too. And we have spent the time listening to Americans uh, in developing this pledge. Now, we have been advised and so forth. We've talked to Paul Ryan. We've talked to other people. Nobody wanted to sort of lead with it. But essentially, a freeze on spending, domestic discretionary spending, a freeze on current tax rates, and a freeze on regulations. Is that fair? Is that true? Well, yes, it has, it has policies that will we, we commit in this pledge to... Um, we're promoting a plan. We have a plan that will address government spending, get us on a path to balancing the budget and actually paying down the debt. And so you do see where there's a hiring freeze uh, for every, uh, there's a hiring freeze, there is a, a freeze on, there's actually a reduction in congressional spending. There's, uh, we go back to the 2008 spending levels from, from which to build a budget. We are, we're taking the steps necessary to get our fiscal house in order. Kathy, what do you say to the 15 million Americans who are unemployed and they want to know, will this Republican plan get my job back? What do you say well, to them? It's, I would say it's, a, it's certainly a step in the right direction because the current policies have actually been making things worse. As I have traveled around eastern Washington, the, the biggest concern is the uncertainty. It's the uncertainty over increased costs, taxes, the uncertainty over health care implementation, the uncertainty over financial regulatory reform. And what this plan would do was put us on a path where people would have more certainty, they would be willing to take that risk again and hopefully get our economy back on track. All right, so your Democratic friends, uh, Majority Leader Steny Hoyer and um, campaign honcho Chris Van Hollen. Van Hollen says Republicans are still the party of no, and Hoyer says you have no new ideas in this package. What's your reaction? Well, uh, they, they need to see what we have here. And, and much of this package is actually, a, it's, a, it's a combined, uh, it's the result of two years of work, actually, as we have brought forward our ideas. We had, we have an economic recovery plan, a health care plan, an energy plan that we have been bringing forward every step of the way. And the Democrats have just not been inviting us to the table. And what we've done has been, we've taken the time to go out to America, to listen to America and ask them, what would you like to see Congress doing? And all across this country, people have been asking, is anyone listening? We've been listening, and I, and I believe that Americans are going to say, you know what, this is, this is the kind of leadership that we would like to see from our members of Congress. Uh, Kathy, let me ask you, um, is the Republican Party, at least your end, in the House caucus and the election, is this now a new party, or, uh, not the party of George W. Bush, but a new party with new policies? This, this pledge to America will, will confirm that we learned the lessons when we lost our way. And, and the American people fired us in 2006 Why? and 2008. What specifically? Why? Because it is, it is a bold action plan and it lays out exactly what we would like to do if we're given the chance to govern. It's going to be a very clear difference in approach between the current approach and what we would like to see happen. You're going to see where we're willing to make some of the tough decisions 
um, necessary to get our economy going, to get spending under control. You're going to see things in changing the way that even Congress does business. No more of these omnibus bills, Christmas tree bills. No more um, bills brought at the last minute. You know, there will be three days where everyone has a chance to read the bill. We're going to point to the constitutionality in the, in the legislation, and, and, and it's going to, we're going to have open debate on the bill. Isn't that a novel idea? So the constitutionality, uh, the enumerated powers, I reckon that's what you're talking about. That was a key Tea Party demand in their own contract from America. You're saying that that is in your new uh, agenda. You're also saying, I think, I want you to go on the record. Tea Party people say it's spending stupid. I don't mean you, but they're saying in general, it's spending stupid. It's limited government. Yes. Will you be able to convince the Tea Party people and, frankly, the independents who are moving in the Tea Party direction in the revolt against big government? Can you convince them with this? Well, I, uh, I am confident we'll be able to convince them. They're going to they're gonna see the kind of bold leadership that they want from... From their, from their leaders in Congress. And, and we're the ones that have been out there listening to Americans. I, I am, I'm excited to present this to them and, 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 and ask what they, what they, what kind of, you know, I want to get their feedback on it. All right, last one. In effect, what I gather is you all are going to go hammer and tongs warfare against the White House agenda. A lot of people on Wall Street call that gridlock. Is gridlock a fair assessment? We're, we're presenting better solutions. We're putting our ideas forward. This is, these, are, these are ideas that we would like to see Congress address today. This is, a, this is a governing agenda, positive, constructive solutions that we are bringing to the table to address spending, to address economic growth, to address the way Congress does business. We're ready to have that debate. And let's bring the, the ideas forward and may the best idea win. Here, no come, more, here okay. comes a dumb question. You can take the house? You can take the house over? Uh, it, it's going to be close, but we're, we're going to do everything possible because it is important to the future of this country. All right. House member and Republican policymaker Kathy McMorris Rogers, we really appreciate your time tonight. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. All right. Up next on Cudlow, we go inside the Cudlow inbox. A look at some of your viewer emails. I'll read them. Maybe a comment or two. Please stay with me. You heard Ms. Rogers. It's a new.